Okay. Yes. I have seen the things online about this and this and this. Now, I will say this. The Minecraft movie trailer is actually good. You might be wondering why I just said that considering what I just showed you based on what everybody else is saying as well on the internet. But I'm not talking about the CGI behind it. I'm talking about the editing. Today I looked at the brand new Minecraft movie trailer and broke down different things strictly based on the editing itself, not everything inside of the trailer. So I decided to take a different look at it considering that I am an editor and there was definitely some things that I was a little bit surprised about when it comes to the actual editing itself. Considering the statement that I just said, the Minecraft movie trailer is actually good. It's surprising how many things can be packed in a minute long trailer and that's exactly what I broke down. So let's go ahead and get into the video. A Minecraft movie teaser. And yes, I've heard all of the complaints about it when it comes to the CGI, but that's not what we're focusing on in this video. We're gonna be looking at the actual pacing and editing of it that's put together as a trailer. With that being said, if I enjoy or like certain things, I'll give some of my opinions about other things as well, but we're strictly going to be looking at the editing in and of itself, not necessarily the actual contents inside of the trailer. You have to really focus in on making it as entertaining and intriguing as possible to make the person want to go see it when the movie comes out. We got it started off here. It's that 4K loaded in. Starting off, we got this block and uh, indicating Minecraft, it's all about blocks. So that's a good, good way to start. It's a little bit glowing. All right. Okay, so first I'm gonna say this shot right here uh, going into this first shot. One, this doesn't look that bad, okay? But you've got that little ding at the start that kind of establishes it, and then there's sound design behind going through. Obviously, you know, if you've played Minecraft before, uh, which I'm sure s most people have at some point, um, but if you go through portals inside of the game, it makes that sound effect, and so they added making it more cinematic as it goes through, uh, they add to that sound effect like you're going into this world. Now, there is some kind of sentence or, or saying that's in the background that says, step right this way. I don't know what that's about. Whether that's something that Steve is going to say. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of sound design and it's an indication of going into the world of Minecraft itself. And now you're about to see in a second from this next shot what that really means or what that's uh, the context of it. Yeah. So this is the big, uh, anyway, <laughs> going back here, uh, you'll see behind them, you got the blue portal right here, which was an indication of, you'll notice at the start, the portal was blue going in. And so if you pay attention to the background, it's pretty much showing them going through the portal, seeing the whole Minecraft world because they walked through this. And so that's why it kind of fades in and shows the world like that as a context of why they're walking in, if that makes sense. <laughs> so the very dramatic trailers need to be very dramatic. Uh, most of the time, a, if you pay attention, trailers have kind of evolved into a different type of style now than they were a while back, you'll notice like trailers had that like 
deep voice behind it describing like what's going to happen in this story blah 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 finds out that that's how trailers used to be and it it would have different style i can't really pinpoint the actual style of music but if you know you know what i'm talking about now trailers have older music kind of like this that is remixed to be very dramatic and you'll see this in trailers from marvel to this to a bunch of other types of movies they just make it they remix it to be very dramatic and have strong hits and so you'll notice in this it's cutting as soon as the different hits happen or it'll be in sync to the music itself a lot of movie trailers have evolved into this style now this is the famous screenshot that everybody's freaking out about. I will say this. I'll say this and I'll move on. I think one of the main things that make it a little bit off is probably the teeth. Everything else, I mean, they went for this kind of realistic, ultra realistic type of look. But, you know, the eyes are the same way as it is inside the game. And it has those blocky features. If I'm being honest, I'm not going to jump on what everybody else is saying and say that it's completely garbage. There, They could have been worse, but I feel like there is some small critiques that could be fixed to make it a little bit more appealing as a, a game in and of itself. But I mean, as far as quality goes, the CGI itself isn't bad quality. Just the design behind it can be a little bit off. Because I mean, if you look at the actual environment, it's not really that bad. Anything you can dream about here, you can make. Again, like I said, a lot in that sequence right there, a lot of the stuff is in sync with the music. Whenever they showed the sheep, the pink sheep, I think that's actually one of the rarest sheep you can find in Minecraft. So I got some knowledge. I got some knowledge. Let me go ahead and fact check that. Let me, uh, I'll pop it up on the screen. Anyway, whenever he was hitting on the drum inside the sky, that was also going with the music. Because whenever you cut it, cut things in sync with the music that has strong hits and has those things like that, it makes it a lot more dramatic, especially when it's just a sharp cut. All right. Who are you? I am Steve. <sighs> okay. This guy is such a tool bag. <laughs> again, so they played the the sound again at the end, but anyway. That ending part there, you know, a lot of people like to say, you know, whatever, it's cringe, blah, blah, blah. But you have to think, even though people growing up played this a lot, kids still play it, younger kids. And something like that, even though it's, you know, people can say whatever they want, it's corny. Uh, a kid is going to laugh at that. All right. A llama is my favorite animal, if you didn't know. And again, with the CGI, even though we're not talking about CGI necessarily in this, uh, the teeth, again, I guess could be something that's a little bit, a little bit critiqued when it comes to the design. If you go into a video game from real life, because I'm assuming from the start, that's what's going to happen. It's going to be kind of like a Jumanji type of deal. I I'm going to call it right now. You can write th write it down. All right, mark my words. It's probably going to be some type of Jumanji type of uh, interaction with the game, where they end up finding some portal in real life or finding something, and then they walk through it and they enter the whole game. 
And that's why they're making it realistic like this. Who are you? I. So behind the music, once again, it's got that dramatic remix behind it. Uh, whenever he, Steve, AKA Jack Black pops up, the music cuts out and it fades. It has like a, in whatever editing software you have, I believe, at least in Final Cut, there's a effect called Cathedral. Actually, let me go ahead and just show you right now. All right, here, let me just, uh, let me just record this real quick. Hello, hello. Okay, so if you add a nice hold at the end there, if you click shift H and search cathedral, you'll get this, right? If you apply that on, it immediately changes it to this. Hello. Right, so it gives it that echo effect. Now, if you had music. Okay. I'll just roll with that. So now if we got some music and you can do this to cut it. I do this all the time, but to cut it anywhere you want inside the song, let's say you got the music going, right? So let's say we want it to cut right here. Again, you just have to add a hold freeze frame on the music itself, which gives you this nice little gap here. You extend it out as long as you want, and then you add a cathedral over it. Now, what I like to do is I like to duplicate the actual song itself and not have the cathedral on the upper part. And so you shrink it like that. And then right here, you wanna add a fade between both clips. <laughs> Kind of like that. And so it gives you that echo effect when you want to go into something else or cut the music dramatically without it being too abrupt. I'm Steve. <laughs> and so once again, there's sound design and stuff. And you'll hear in the background, there's a cow. I'm Steve. And there's just a bunch of stuff. Okay. Oh, this guy is such a tool bag. Movies do that all the time. Movie trailers do that all the time. They add a sentence like that and then just immediately cut to the title sequence. And I don't know, sometimes I feel like it can be a little bit cringe sometimes, but it is what it is. You know, people have their own opinions on certain things, but. It's pretty interesting. So if you have headphones on, you can actually hear the blocks going around whenever the camera is spinning around. So they did some some surround sound with that when it comes to the sound design there. And then you got this piece at the end, musical piece that seals off the the video with the title sequence. And then it has that hit at the end. That echoes out showing the ending of the video. Oh, that's interesting. I would expect since the most of the project had been cutting on the dramatic hit of the of the music, I would expect it to cut like that to this shot of the llama, but it actually didn't. It cut the hit before. See? And then, yeah, you got these risers and stuff showing at the end to show the title sequence and all this stuff. And so truthfully, I think the way it's put together as far as the editing goes as a trailer wise, I actually don't think it's that bad. I think it's kind of, you know, I think it's pretty decent when it comes to the trailer aspect of the sound design, the music, the the way it's cut and put together, showcasing different parts about the world, because that's the main thing that somebody wants to see in Minecraft. That's why it's getting judged so much is because they showed a lot of the world in different creatures in Minecraft, because that's what a person that played the game would want to see in the movie. And it did good in showcasing that in the trailer itself, making it very dramatic would be a good way to, to put it. And so overall, I mean, I don't really see anything 
too bad with it. People have their own opinions, but as far as the trailer editing goes, people can say whatever they want about the CGI. It's whatever, your opinion. Uh, as far as editing goes, I don't think it's too bad. Well, I mean, I saw this come out last week, and I haven't really seen too many people talk about it in this manner, putting a good light on the actual you know, on other parts of it that's besides the CGI. Everybody wants to complain about the CGI. Whatever. I wanted to take a look at it from an editor's perspective and maybe shine a little bit of a good light on, on the people that actually put it together. That'll be it for today. You can click over here to watch another video of mine if you're interested. If not, I'll see you at the next edit.